Sheriff Tom Spangler back with us. Sheriff, we know that Knoxville police have had a tough time recruiting officers given the current climate and the demands of that job. What can you say about the ability to recruit for the sheriff's office and get new deputies on the force? Uh, it's the same with us as well. It's the same with us. It's the same across the state. It's the same across the country. Uh, you go to the Tennessee Sheriff's Association and all sheriffs talk of, about problems recruiting and uh, you know we're doing the best and you know we have to recruit against each other now and that's one of the issues that we're seeing across the state. What's the starting salary of a uh, of sheriff's officer there? In uh, 35,000 a little odd just off of 35,000. So you know that that tells you a little bit too is that we have got to look at really uh, increasing salaries because uh, the individuals that uh, that we have had leave within the past two years or at least since I've been in office uh, you know we had the county buyout that involved 37 people uh, that experience is gone and every agency is losing experience and starting out with young people so we have got to be able to rein, uh, keep our individuals here and uh, retain those individuals with that experience. Sheriff I mentioned yeah. you have 860 deputies how many positions do you have unfilled right now? Uh, you know, as far as our patrol, we're probably looking at anywhere around 25 or so, something like that. Uh, within our corrections, we're around 30. So, you know, it, uh, you know I've, I've heard that uh, people are leaving because of administration. Well, let, let me tell you that uh, uh, as, long, as long as I've been in here, we have tried to make sure that we get our individuals or our employees a raise, and, and I'll continue to work on that. And Sheriff, when you talk about 35,000 as, as the patrol officer entry, that, that, that really is a bit skewed because you have to start or choose to start everybody uh, in corrections in the jail, which I think there are a number of folks that think that's a, probably a pretty good way to vet folks. But what is that salary for someone that is entry level into the detention facility or one of your other jails? Because isn't that much lower than 35,000? Uh, it, you know, you're probably looking at about 33. It's not that much, but also once they complete the academy, then they go up, they'll be up to right at 38. So, you know, it's still just in between anywhere from 32 to 38,000. So, you know, we, we've got to get that moved up. And if we don't, then we're not going to keep anybody. And as you said, John, with the climate and the culture, the way things are, people are not going to want to come into law enforcement. Sheriff, you did Sheriff. fire a couple of employees recently. I know they're challenging that and you can't get into the particulars, but what can you say about the overall health of your administration and how the department is moving? Uh, the, the department is moving very well as far as from everything that I hear. Uh, and let me say this, anytime that you have to deal with uh, discipline like that, it's not hard and it's even harder when somebody you know, somebody you've known for many years, uh, and when you sit at home and you think about this night in and night out and have to make a decision like that, if somebody tells you those are easy decisions, then uh, I, I think they need to go get checked because this, that has been very heavy on my heart of having to make decisions like that. Sheriff, what keeps you up at night? If you ever <laughs> sleep, I, you probably don't get ever get a good night's sleep, but what does keep you up at night? What do you worry about most in this job you have? Uh, you know, there's several things, uh, and, and Susan, it, it's many things. I just mentioned one of them. You know, you, you worry about your employees. I do. You know, I've known many of these for many years, and, and I care about each and every one of them. But, you know, I also think about those people who are out there working while we are at home and supposed to be sleeping, and, th and those men and women, I'm thinking about them, hoping they're being safe, but I'm also hoping that the public is in, in their home or at their business, knowing that, uh, that we're a call away if anything goes on. But you know, you go back to what's happened at Austin East as well, and you, you hope that nothing like that was ever going to happen in our community. Here it is. Reality has uh, has hit us within Knoxville and Knox County. And, uh, you know, it's our job to make sure that we, uh, we continue to give the service that the people expect from us. This challenge seems multi-layer to attack a problem like we've seen in this spate, spate of violence. Um, Sheriff, what do you think is the best thing that people could do to help? We've got to talk. We've got to communicate. And, and when I say that, uh, even when you see an officer on the street, I, I, one of the biggest things that I think that helps them is just to say thank you. Thank you for your service. But within that being said, when we're out in the community and we're driving around, we have to stop. We've got to stop and talk to people that are out mowing their yards, 
doing those things that the, that's community related and letting them know that not only are we here, but we are human. We're just like you are. We have a different job and we want to make sure that that job we do is, is as good as we can, we can make it. Sheriff Tom Spangler, we are grateful for your time this morning on a Sunday morning and thank you very much and our best to you and your deputies and civilians that serve under you. We appreciate that service and thank you for your time. And thank you. I'm very honored to be your Knox County Sheriff.